All right, hey, hope everybody's doing well. I um, <clears throat> Some interesting things uh, I'm gonna talk about here. I do have a 1992 NSX, and the, <clears throat> the speedometer started kind of bouncing up and down a while back. So, looked in the manual. This is the manual, and I go back. Let's go to the back over here. Uh, transmission. <clears throat> and so it, 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 it's an automatic transmission. And so you go to the speed sensor, and it shows two speed sensors. One here, this is, this is the firewalls right here. Uh, so it's one here, and then there's one over here. So, you know, I looked at this, I uh, said, great, you know, I'll, I'll uh, move this over. That way it doesn't fall off. <clears throat> so anyway, so got online, um, Acura OEM parts. Uh, there's a couple of different dealerships, one in there, entered the VIN number, whatever, uh, year, all that. And of course, they're showing these two. So I'm like, all right, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, I'm going to get it, ordered them, um, probably about a year and a half ago. And, you know, the, the uh, you can pull the clock sensor to kind of reset the system. What happens when, you're, when your speed, speedometer starts, starts bouncing up and down and you lose the speed sensor, then that affects your electronic power steering. So the power steering in the car <clears throat> has this motor that assists you kind of like all new cars so I think I, I want to say that the Acura the NSX was the very first production car to have electronic power steering great so I order them <clears throat> excuse me here's one Let me get my, yeah there's one right there and then here's the other one and uh, today's what uh, March 5th. Uh, so about two weeks ago, three weeks, actually three weeks ago, I I said, okay, you know, I need to change it. So I get in there, and I'm looking at it, and it's like, man, this is not, this is the one that's that's gone bad. And it's like, man, this doesn't look like it. So I come back to the manual. Let me come back here. <coughs> And so here, let me see if I can prop up the book here. Here it shows it right there, but it also shows another one right there, but there's no, like, no number to it. Okay. So, wow. And these two, this is number 54, and the other one over here is number, where is it? Right down here, 64. And, and it, it tells you what they are. So 54 NC speed sensor, uh, 64 N and M speed sensor is like wow okay so then as you go along come over here to this part right here again again assuming that they're that this is the automatic transmission well now it's showing you a different one but it's showing you the whole assembly 40 46 so 46 is speed speed sensor assembly so I was like, wow, okay. And and again, if you go through, um, you know, here now it's showing the other one, the NS speed sensor and stuff. So I end up getting online. Uh, I, I'm a member there on NSX Prime. And there's a guy named Larry. And <clears throat> I think there was another guy. So, so my car happens to be an automatic. And there's another guy that was having the same issue of course, everybody's saying, hey, if your speedometer is bouncing up and down, just change the speed sensor and it should fix it. So, Larry says, yep, this is it. This is the part number. And, of course, it's definitely, you know, this is the old one. The new one it doesn't come steel in steel cased and stuff. And it has this little drive shaft that you got to take, take out of there. And it's a three-pronger as opposed to both of these over here are two prong, two prong. Now I know there's one in the front on the firewall. I have seen it. I don't know if it's this one or this one, but these both of these are just two. I think they're two prong. Could be a three prong. Actually, no, that's a two prong. 
So anyway, um, I, I, I since have replaced it. Uh, took it out for a drive yesterday, and uh, it's working because before with this one in it, uh, by the time I got to the stop sign, not you know maybe 50 yards away from my house, uh, the speedometer would already be bouncing up and down. So. Um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys what I did. Um, I've shot some other video and stuff, so I'll definitely show you guys, um, you know, the, uh, how I changed it and stuff. And a lot of stuff you got to remove. All righty. Talk to you later. Okay. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys, the, these, these guys are, <clears throat> these were like $150 a piece for this one. And then this one was 150. And then the actual one, this guy, which is the actual one I put in, uh, was $190. Uh, uh, you know, shipping and tax and everything. So they're they've gone up in price. Alrighty, later. Okay, so here's my car, and I've taken some of the stuff off. <clears throat> So this guy right here kind of goes like right in here and you do have to take it off to get, you know, to get your hands in there. I'm thinking about maybe removing the air box and stuff to give me some more, uh, a better angle. But the, the, and let me see if I can zoom in here. The, uh, where the heck is it? The speed sensor is right down there right behind that green uh, I know I know it's not focusing on it but that's where it is and so you got to remove I have to undo some of these see if I can move this out of the way uh, so that's it right there <clears throat> and it's somewhat it's somewhat of a bear but you know you remove like I remove this the plug here uh, to get to that down there um, you know, you just make some room, and then there's a, a, a cross member that goes right, uh, goes from here, it goes all the way across to the other side over there. So I remove, remove that because it's definitely in the way. <clears throat> okay. So um, I'll try and, 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 and shoot video while I'm doing this because it's, you know, it's kind of hard to do that. Uh, um, but uh, anyway, just wanted to bring you all along. Hopefully uh, this will help some other NSX guys. All right, be back. Okay, so I'm back. This is my NSX, and uh, <clears throat> this is the actual, uh, let's see if it'll focus there. That's the speed sensor that I'm trying to replace, and it goes in that way it goes in like that it's got two screws two 10 millimeter screws on each side it also comes with this little um, I guess a little drive shaft and it does go right in there and the square part if I'm mistaken the square part goes in there um, <clears throat> so what I had to use was <laughs> and I'm doing this upside down I know it's just the way it is. This is what I had to use to get this out, uh, to get the screws out. And it's this real long, um, I think this is an 18, 18 inch. This is a little, whoa! This is the one with the little swivel at the end right there. Um, and then I added another, I think this is a six inch. So yeah, so it's, it's you gotta go way down there. It's way, Let's see if I can get my hand out of the way. So it's way down there, and I know I know it's 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 going to be. I'm, I'm coming from the top. The camera is just just the way it is. It looks like it's I'm upside down, but I'm not. I'm just coming from the other side. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so they're loose. Um, now what I need to do is um, I need to pull them out, and so let me grab my magnetic. Do you? Oh, by the way. This is the part number, um, this is the actual part number for 
at Speed Sensor, uh, and it was expensive. I think I paid total with tax and shipping about 190 something dollars for this guy. Um, <clears throat> now, the the in the what do you call it manual the the uh, service manual shows that there's two sensors that there's one on this side and one on the other on the other side of the transmission and I've seen that one over there now when you go online uh, <clears throat> and and I've mentioned this at the at, at, uh, uh, part one I'm, I'm gonna call this one I guess part two this video part two <clears throat> but part one I kind of mentioned that and I go through the through the uh, uh, through the owner's, uh, I'm sorry, through the service manual. But in, in the service manual, it does show this one also. Um, now, this is an automatic transmission. And <clears throat> so when I got online and I would enter that it's an automatic transmission, it would just tell me it had two sensors and never show me that it had this one. Okay. Uh, so I ordered the other ones. And man, they were like $150 a piece, and now I can't return them because it's been more than nine months or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, lesson learned. Um, you know, um, you uh, you basically just, I, I guess, gotta do some research before. Now, they do show. Let's see, oh man, maybe that's it down there. They do show, maybe this is it. There is something way down here. Oh no, that's definitely a pipe. No. Okay, anyway, I'll, I'll explain that uh, a little bit better in, in uh, part one. Kind of didn't explain it very well. I'm gonna do part one over again on that. But but now it's getting those bolts out of there. And let me, let me grab my, <clears throat> my magnetic uh, pole there that I got. <clears throat> so there's my magnetic device so let's hope that I can grab them and get them out with no issue come on that one's I guess it's not loose yet I'm gonna have to go back in there all right that one's loose <coughs> there it is okay the other one I'm gonna have to loosen it some more get this in there <clears throat> loosen it some more and then I'm gonna have to do some contortions on my hand to get <clears throat> to uh, get that uh, that sensor out of there and so what's what's been happening is uh, what's been happening is that with with this type of system the um, the speedometer starts to bounce like you know it's it's it starts to do this number on the <clears throat> on the speedometer it bounces <clears throat> and then this car has electronic power steering which is a very first production car to come out with motor assist steering what they call electronic power steering <clears throat> and so then that system goes off because it needs to have speed to know how much torque to put into your steering and stuff. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna try and have you guys on there. Just gotta move a lot of stuff and see if I can pull that sucker out. And uh, I'm wondering if I can just, yeah, it's really difficult. Uh, I turned in here a little while ago. And it was ow, 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 ow. Okay. All right. Ow. 
Come on. <laughs> All right, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can if I can just pull it out with. Oh, oh, oh. All right, now let's pull this out. The original and apparently it goes bad and this is a replacement <clears throat> so I'm hoping to have this working sometime tonight oh by the way it's uh, February 19th it's late in the evening probably about six o'clock maybe 2022. Uh, there is a little, sh there's a little shaft that goes in here that I'm gonna have to get out of there. So, <clears throat> oh, I see. There's also, oh man, I see what's going on. That's gonna be a bear. <clears throat> there's a little heat shield. Arr, you know what? Just, this didn't come with the O-ring. Ah. Well. Okay. Let's see if I can get that out with my with this guy. Now, what I'm what I'm attempting to remove now is this guy right here. Okay. So let me see if I can do that. So there it is. Huh. Okay. Hoping this is yeah, work. Okay, so it went in. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and align the, uh, <clears throat> there's a square part on this side. I'm going to try and align those, and then hopefully that'll make my job a lot easier putting this in. All right, I'll be back later on.